Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Money in the Bank 2021 predictions and review. So it is midnight, I gotta keep it down a little bit, and we are here to pick the well winners and losers for the uh, championships. So let's do this. First up, uh in a pre-show match, I believe this might be a pre-show match, uh Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio are taking on the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Um I'll go for the Mysterios on this one. Um, next up, we will talk about Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, I'm going to Charlotte. I think it's time that Sh you know it's time for Charlotte to get the belt back. Um, I'm not a massive fan of it, but it's going to happen tonight. So, yep. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have got AJ Styles and Almost versus the Viking Raiders for the tag team titles. Um, I'm going to go for the Raiders on this one. So, whoa, tag team. Next up, we have got Ricochet versus John Morrison versus Riddle versus Dillon McIntyre versus Big E versus Kevin Owens versus Kim Nakamura versus Seth Rollins for the Money in the Bank ladder match for a World Championship contract. Whew. Uh, I'm going to go for Rollins on this one. I think Seth will win it because then it'll further the feud with Edge and it'll be. Um, Edge will win tonight, spoiler alert, that's my pick. Uh, Edge is going to win tonight, and then Rollins is going to cash in on Edge and win the belt back. Or win the belt. So, uh, we'll do that one. Um, Roman Reigns versus Edge for the Universal Championship. I am going for Edge on that one. Or we're going to have a, um, championship, uh, we're going to have a championship, uh, match. Uh, yeah. We're going to have a cash in tonight and it's going to be Rollins, I think, on the winner of the Roman Reigns vs. Edge match. Um, next up, Oscar vs. Naomi vs. Alexa Bliss vs. Nikki uh, Ash. Um, this is a superhero gimmick I recall for Nikki Cross, I'll see what it's like. Vs. Liv Morgan vs. Selena Vega, who never fucking won a match to enter this match, vs. Natalia vs. Tamina, who was given... Natalia was given it after Carmella received the SmackDown Women's Championship match on SmackDown just p this past week. So, yeah. Um, I want Liv to win, but I don't think it's going to be Liv Morgan. Don't think it's going to be Selena Vega. I mean, Bliss, maybe? Oscar? I, don't, I actually don't know who's... I, I genuinely don't know who's going to win this one. The only one that makes sense is Liv Morgan. And that's my personal opinion. Because then they can have it as either Bianca Belair or Charlotte Flair. Or have it... Or have um, Carmella win the belt and have Liv Morgan cash in on Carmella. Fuck it, I'm going Morgan. She bloody deserves it, to be honest with you. So, I'm going for Morgan. And last but no means least, Bobby Lashley with MVP versus Kofi Kingston with Xavier Woods for the WWE Championship. I love Kofi Kingston, but Bobby Lashley's winning this. If anything is to be believed, Bobby Lashley is going to win. And I think they're going to put Lesnar versus Lashley, which is a match that I personally do not want to see because I cannot be fucking bothered watching Bobby, uh, Brock Lesnar in the WWE win again. If I'm perfectly honest with you, I would rather not see that. I would rather not see fucking Goldberg. But fuck me, we might get that. So, yeah. So, those are my predictions. Uh, Mysterios for the tag team titles, for SmackDown, Charlotte Flair for Women's Championship, Raiders for the Raw tag team titles, Rollins for the Money in the Bank men's version, Edge for the Universal Championship, Liv Morgan for the Women's Money in the Bank. I think that's going to be a lock. Uh, that's my lock of the night. That's my lock of the night. 
I'm going to say that now. That's a lock. I am locking that in. Liv Morgan is definitely going to win the one, uh, the Money in the Bank ladder match. Watch it. She doesn't win it. And Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. So, with that all being said, guys, I will see you on Sunday. And we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So, I uh, do apologise about Friday. Uh, it was a bit meh. <laughs> I just had to make sure that the uh, recording has stopped. So, we're here on Sunday night. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you very much for watching the TNA Slammiversary review. It was kind of a last minute thing, and I got a lot of love for it, and a lot of views. So, thank you ever so much for that. Um, so, Money in the Bank. I will admit, I'm not particularly a fan. I am a fan of Money in the Bank. Just not now. Ooh, the set looks nice. I do like that curved uh, screen, I've got to admit. I'm currently watching the pre-show now, guys. Uh, I do like the new setup for everything. I think that's a really cool gimmick. I, I think that's really cool, I think, personally. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all that. Um, I might continue doing TNA reviews if you guys want me to uh, continue doing them. Um, as well as that, ladies and gentlemen, the newest episode of the CWS is going to be placed right here. If you want to check that out, we have a look at Heatwave 2000 leading to episode 100 in a month's time. I'm so excited for that video, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our pre-show match, which is going to be the Mysterios versus the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. So, just had the Usos versus the Mysterios in a very good SmackDown Tag Team Title match. Um... I kind of liked the Mysterio's entrance when they moved through the vortex and came out of the stage. I thought that was very entertaining. This is a Mysterio's versus Uso match, so it's always going to be good, sorry. Live. Um, but yeah, this is a really entertaining matchup. Very quick. Well, not quick. It was about, I want to say about 15 minutes or so. Um, obviously, Uso's cheat to win the belt. Mm. So I'm 1-0 down. Not <laughs> And obviously, briefcase. Um, if I finally get to win that, I might open it. Yeah, maybe it will say. Uh, but it's one of those things, you know. This was a really entertaining matchup. Very quick. Uh, quick stylings. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. So I was very, very entertained by this match. And it worked perfectly. So uh, we will get to our first matchup, which I don't know what it will be. But we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is Monday morning. It is five past one in the morning. And it's time for Money in the Bank. We're going to be kicking it off with the women's Money in the Bank match. Nikki, almost a superhero. What? Nikki? Okay. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> don't get me, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's a bloody good wrestler. Congratulations to her winning the money in the bank, but... What? Really? Nikki Cross? I mean... I mean, I mean who's she's got to face? Bianca Belair or Charlotte Flair? Makes no sense. What? I mean... I mean, is she a credible champion? No? I would have liked... Uh, to be honest, I predicted Liv Morgan, but... Nikki? Nikki? Really? Well, okay, so, basically, Alexa Bliss gets taken out of the match by being piled with ladders on, and then three ladders are uh, in the ring. All the other women are fighting, and then Nikki Cross just comes up and grabs the belt. Uh, grabs the briefcase. What? Do not get me wrong, Nikki is a very, very good wrestler. But a women's champion? I've got to watch a bit more of this superhero gimmick because at this moment in time, I am not sold. I will have, I, again, I will have to watch some more matches of this with this gimmick. I would have preferred Liv Morgan. I mean, there's a story already there, but I mean, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I would have wanted Alexa maybe. I mean, anyone, Alexa. Natalia or Tamina would have been just like fuck off, but I'm going to give it a chance and see where it goes. So, let's get to our next contest, guys. Okay, I'm sorry about this, guys, but really? N N Nikki! Nikki, almost a superhero, is the Money in the Bank winner. Again, I really want to stress this. She is a very good wrestler. 
but in this gimmick, I don't know. I mean, are they going to go down the, the original Bailey route of her being a, a good, you know, a good person? Then that could work? Ah, oh, I would never have thought in a million years that Nikki A. A.S.H. would be the Money in the Bank winner. Not in a million years. I'm, I'm going to stress again. Great wrestler, but I don't know. Let, let, so we've got Roman and the Usos talking. So let's just carry on with the show. So we just had the Raw Tag Team Championship match. The Viking Raiders versus AJ Styles and Omos. This was a fun tag team match, I have to admit. I uh, preferred the SmackDown title match, to be honest, on the pre-show, but this was entertaining. Told a good story of um, Eric eating the pin by the double choke uh, bomb from Omos on Raw. And it, you know, played into the story that they basically just wanted to go after Omos and then, you know, try and pin AJ so it'd be a bit easier with the pins. It was a good matchup again, you know. Wonderful tag team moves off the Viking Raiders. They've been, you know, the War Raiders on the Independence thing, so you know they are a good tag team. And the crowd were into this match. They were wanting AJ to win, obviously. They were cheering AJ, so AJ won. So everybody's happy there. Um, yeah, so far, three nothing. I'm losing three nothing. I genuinely need the next four matches to be right. So I need Charlotte to win, Seth to win the Money in the Bank, Edge to win the Universal title, and Bobby to win the WWE Championship. If I'm honest, I am only right with one of them, and that's Bobby Lashley winning the WWE Championship, uh, retaining the WWE Championship. I'm not getting any of them. I'm not getting anyone else right. So uh, let's get to our next match, which will probably be either the WWE Championship or the Raw Women's Championship. I'm guessing. So let's do this. So, uh, we just had the WWE Championship matchup between Bobby Lashley and uh, Kofi Kingston. And holy shit, it was one sided. Bobby Lashley destroyed Kofi Kingston. This was a beatdown that I, I didn't even see coming. I, I was shocked that this, this match even took place. Like, the match went as long as it did. Fucking hell, this was mental. I mean, it made Bobby look like a fucking star. But at the same time, it was still... Fuck me. I mean, 3-1 to me, but... Again, that's the, I personally think that's the only one I'm going to get right, ladies and gentlemen. I will be shocked if I get any more. So, with that, let's carry on watching Money in the Bank. Um, and... Probably going to say that the Raw Women's, uh, maybe the Money in the Bank match is going to be next for the men, but we'll find out. So we just had Charlotte Flair versus um, Rhea Ripley for the Raw Women's Championship, and this was a good match. I mean, it's Rhea Ripley versus uh, Charlotte Flair, so it was going to be an okay matchup. Very entertaining uh, between these two women. Uh, a lot of uh, back and forth action. Uh, the leg, you know, both legs were being into play. And amazingly, Rhea Lipley gets a leg stuck, well, Charlotte puts a leg in the steel steps, hits it, gets in, puts the figure eight on, and wins the match via submission. So I am 3-2 so far. I was shocked. I genuinely thought Charlotte wouldn't win the match. So I'm very happy. And she's being cheered, which is always a great thing. Well, she's entertaining. I have to admit that one. So, uh, I mean... Are we going to see Becky Lynch tonight? No, of course not. She's in, I know she's in Texas, but I don't think we're going to see her. I genuinely thought that uh, Liv Morgan was going to be eliminated from the Money in the Bank ladder match and Becky Lynch was going to be put in her place. I'm an idiot sometimes. But, I mean, to start the feud with Charlotte versus Becky, I mean, I'd be bored shitless with that one. We've seen it too many fucking times. But, hey, you, you never know, guys. So, Seth Rollins and Edge. Can I make a comeback? I don't know. So I believe we're going to have the... Well, it's either going to be the Money in the Bank or the Universal title match. And I think they're going to put the Universal title match on last. So I think we may have the Money in the Bank next. But let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, with our next contest. Biggie 
win some money in the bank ladder match. And I'll say, actually, that makes a bit of sense, actually. I mean, he has been up and coming recently. He's been entertaining. Give him a chance. I mean, do I think he's going to win the championship? No. But giving him a chance with the belt, then yeah. I mean, Edge versus Biggie, maybe. But, I don't know. I mean, I thought Drew was, you know, I thought Seth was going to win. No. Furthest the feud with Edge and Roman Reigns. That might, that's not happening. Um, I thought then Drew might win, but then he was taken out by Jinder Mahal and his goons. So, that's not happened. So, Biggie. I mean, it's the same thing with the, the whole Nikki Ash you know, almost a superhero. We'll see where it goes, but I don't understand it. I mean, I don't really watch Raw and Smackdown, I'll be honest with you guys. So that's one of the things. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have lost the predictions. So the briefcase is not going to be opened again. Yay. But I might be able to redeem myself with the Universal Championship match, Edge versus Roman Reigns. Edge ain't winning tonight. It's going to be 5-2 to two in the loss column for me. But we'll still have a look. I mean, as well, this match was really entertaining. I mean, a load of RKOs from Riddle. Beautiful moves from uh, Ricochet as well. Fluent. I mean, Kevin Owens went through the ladder, you know, the ladder set on the table, uh, the announce table and the ring apron. So that was entertaining. This was just a nice match. I mean, the ending as well. A big ending from the ladder onto Seth. That was beautiful as well. So, this was a really good matchup. I preferred it over the women's match. I have to admit that one. I think the women's match was just a bit too... Every, you know, in both matches, everybody was like, Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So, we did see both. We did see that in both matches. But it was still an entertaining show. Do not get me wrong about that, guys. And Biggie and Nikki, we'll see where it goes. So, um, personally, I think Nikki is going to be the first person to cash in and lose, personally. We'll see. Biggie, they build, they build him right, then you never know. We might actually see Biggie as a world champion, and to be honest with you, that is something I want to see. So, let's get to our world title match, our universal main event, Roman Reigns versus Edge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we just had the Universal Championship matchup, Roman Reigns versus Edge, and this was actually getting to be a really good matchup. Usos came in, uh, but then the Mysterios came out, yay, to basically drag them out, and then Seth Rollins came in, ugh, super kicked Edge, and then came back and basically just went, yay, <sighs> just fuck off. Roman wins with the spear on Edge, it was very entertaining, you know, this match was really good, do not get me wrong. Ron, what? What? Holy shit, Cena's back. Fuck it out, John. You and my, you and me are gonna have words. You and me. You and I, you and me are going to have words later. Cena's back. Wow. Fucking hell. I mean, are we going to get Cena versus Roman at SummerSlam? I mean, that'd be fucking, I mean, that could be good. I mean, okay, let's just quickly get back to the match before we see what happens. Um, so yeah, it was a very entertaining main event. It was to a point where it was good. I mean, Edge looked like he was knocked out a little bit, but I don't think that was the case, thank God. But, yeah, at the end of it, holy shit, Cena's back. I mean, as a matchup, and he does... Oh, he's going bald. <laughs> it's going bald at the back of his head. <laughs> Smells dirty. Um, holy shit, Cena. Um... That, this is nuts. I mean, I would never have expected Cena to come back. Um, so, you know, let's wrap up now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what did I think of the show? It was a, you know, as a first time back with fans uh, since Mania, this was a good show. Very entertaining, well paced. I think the worst match of the night had to be 
unfortunately the women's money in the bank round match it was just there was just too many uh, girls going uh, uh uh what do we do what do we do and the men's did suffer from this as well but not by much uh best match of the night probably give it to roman edge i mean it was a very interesting matchup and very well played and it was a good match and cena coming back i'll admit it it was a shocker uh, they got me i didn't expect cena to come back to be fair and the crowd did cheer so if we're gonna have this at SummerSlam, then i'm all for it so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching money in the bank 2021 predictions and review i will see you on wednesday for friday fest night 2 at aew and for the cws episode 97 also ladies and gentlemen check out episode 96 here and also ladies and gentlemen check out the playlist which is going to be right here ladies and gentlemen i will see you on wednesday night ttfn